Okay, now let's begin our discussion with the next aspect of carbon that is the biogeocarbon cycle. Okay, biogeochemical cycle, you might have studied this in your lower classes. So, this is carbon cycle. What exactly is going to happen here? That is something which we are going to study now. Now, let's see. Uh, you have fossil fuels and burning of fossil fuels. So, I will say burning of these releases carbon, right? Carbon combines with oxygen and forms carbon dioxide. Now, where does this carbon dioxide go? Uh, we already know about a process of process called as photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide is taken in by green plants. Now, these green plants prepare their food by a process called as photosynthesis using a pigment called as chlorophyll. So, green plants prepare their food and they take in carbon dioxide and they release oxygen. So, this basically maintains the ecological balance on this earth. So, carbon dioxide is taken, taken in and oxygen is released. These green plants are eaten by animals and once the animal eats them, the carbon which is present in these green plants that is reserved as carbohydrates. So, carb carbohydrate is consumed basically by these animal and carbon is uh, then released as carbon dioxide back. Okay. So, this again can be uh, taken in by the green plants and the cycle keeps on continuing. So, this is one form, but the cycle does not stop with animals. So, these animals when they die, so what exactly happens next? So, when these animals die, so when they are buried, their dead bodies are decomposed. So, I will say dead bodies, they are decomposed. So, dead bodies are decomposed by microorganism and these microorganisms break down the complex food material or the complex component into simpler ones. So, in this case, they release carbon okay, and this carbon combines again with the oxygen and forms carbon dioxide. So, this was about the carbon cycle, but now the cycle is still not complete. So, dead bodies, it is decomposed and carbon is again combining with oxygen. What is happening with, the, with these dead bodies? They, these dead bodies, they remain in the earth okay, and then uh, they are just deposited in the earth and they remain, they remain buried. right? So, again the cycle keeps on continuing like this. So, in this case, uh, this is the entire journey of carbon that is from fossil, from fossil fuels. Uh, carbon is obtained, carbon combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. It releases oxygen. So, this process is basically photosynthesis. And then green plants are eaten up by animals. Animals, when they die, their dead bodies are decomposed and then uh, they are buried into the earth and this again forms a component of the fossil fuel. So, this is basically the carbon cycle. So, you might be understanding that why a typical branch of chemistry called as carbon chemistry, which is organic chemistry has originated because carbon has a very important role to play in a day to day life. Starting from the different compounds which we study, starting from the food material which we eat, we normally eat uh, heavily enriched carbohydrates. Again, that contains carbon, glucose and everything basically. In fact, carbon is even existing uh, as carbon dioxide with that is basically the inorganic part of chemistry. So, this was about the knowledge of carbon cycle.